हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल एज पार्ट ऑफ अवर सीरीज ऑन मटेरियल डिजाइन थ्री विद जेट पैक कम्पोज वी हैव बीन एक्सप्लोरिंग डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स इन डेप्थ टूडेज कंपोनेंट इज अ कॉमन येट पावरफुल यूआई एलिमेंट द रेडियो बटन रेडियो बटन आर यूज वेन वी वॉन्ट द यूजर टू सेलेक्ट वन ऑप्शन फ्रॉम अ सेट ऑफ चॉइसिस यू हैव लाइकली सीन दैम इन फॉर्म्स settings quizzes and more let's dive into our android studio and start creating a radio button so here let's create one more file so here what we will do first let's create a list of options so these are our options so what we will do we will create a radio button for each of these options so first let's use a column layout so here on these options list let's use for each so here for each options what we will do we will create a row layout and in that row layout first we will keep the radio button and then the text of this option so here we can see this radio button has these two parameters which we need to provide first one is this selected so here this parameter will hold the state of that radio button whether it is selected or not so here let's create a state so here i have created this state so right now this is giving error so let's import these two values set value and this get value so now it won't give error anymore so initially the selected option will be the option which will be on zero index and let's use this where here so here let's use this selected option state selected option if it is equal to the option and here when user will click on this radio button so what we will do we will provide this selected option like this and also this column let's use some parameters here so this column will take the fill max size so let's use this radio button and now let's run our app and see this so here is our radio group so let's click on this hindi and this urdu so here we can see these radio buttons are working fine when we implement these radio buttons then we should keep the functionality like when user click on this text then this should be selected so we must need to keep this whole row as a selectable not just only these radio buttons so for that let's go back to our radio buttons and here let's make this whole row as a selectable so here i have used this modifier and we will take this fill max width because this whole row should be clickable and the height i have given 56 because the row of the these radio buttons should be given a particular height so this is the standard height for these radio buttons and here i have used this selectable modifiers so here i have used these values similarly like i use here and also this padding i have given horizontal to 16 dp and here this vertical alignment should be center vertically because right now we can see these are not aligned properly and here we can see on this radio button what we can do this on click now, now we can pass null 
because we are handle this on click here and this text let's use some padding for the start so now let's run our app again and see how our app looks so here is our radio group so let's click on this different value so now we can see this is looking more standard so that's it for today's video we have learned how to create and customize radio buttons with material design 3 and jetpack compose if you have any questions or comments make sure to leave them down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss our upcoming videos thanks for tuning in and keep on coding <music>